Lake Trailhead. I will be spending the night here. And tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., I ordered a shuttle service, $30 per person to drop me off at the stored uh, coal truck uh, trailhead. So it'll be another 30 minutes uh, from them picking me up and dropping me off. Also, the AQI, Air Quality Index, is very high right now. There's forest fires all around us, so pretty smoky. Uh, the AQI, Air Quality Index, is 190. And look at that sky. It's crazy. It's it's almost 6 p.m. All right, and then this is the trailhead. Here's my car, here's my setup. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight. Waking up in the morning is just like the worst. I, it's cold, it's uncomfortable, it's early, it's dark, it's scary. I have lots of doubts. Like what the hell am I doing here? I'm solo and it can be lonely but i know it's only gonna get better super busy parking lot it's 5 15 in the morning parking lot is completely full people are parking the sides of the road it's 30 in the morning let's go start and watch This trail gets pretty gnarly, it's just like rocks, and sticks. Isn't that so incredible? Wow, good morning. This is where we're gonna be going up. Over here, over there, up, 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 up. It's pretty steep, pretty dangerous. And these crowds are kind of sometimes frustrating a little bit. Two hours in, it's 8.30, five miles in. First time I went up this, absolutely sucked. It's just like never ending. Now that it's my second time, mentally not as bad. And the key is just like, move slow and steady. Don't try to like muscle through it, you know? One foot in front of the other, and you're just there for the ride. You just accept the fact that you'll be going up this for an hour, an hour and a half. It's a nice water source. When you see the sun coming through the top of the ridge, that's how you know that you're almost there at the top. Ooh, my butt hurts. <laughs> so good. trail does get pretty confusing but follow the Karen so there's Karen here Karen there 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 and then just go to the Karen and try to figure out what your next move is oh, okay here's another one but it can get pretty confusing so make sure you download all trails all like driftwood Last six miles is just like this. So at least you can kind of stretch out your legs. At least we're in the shade, so that's really good. And out of the crowds. Okay, so the shuttle is key. Make sure if you're doing this, that you are in shape. Either an endurance athlete, or if you do CrossFit, or a avid hiker, just because the first six miles 
are so tough and you still have like 15 more miles to go. But if you're so tired that you're sloppy with your stepping, like this is where you get injuries, rolled ankles, etc. I would say mile four through mile 10 were amazing, just beautiful, so worth it. The last 10 miles, it's kind of like this, which is still amazing and beautiful. Oh my God, parking lot, best view in the world. Fuck yeah. If you're hiking, that means 45 more minutes to go. All right, we're done. Woo! It's 2.41 p.m. I started at 6.25 a.m. So eight hours and 16 minutes. I think if you're a hiker and you're a fast hiker and you're in shape, this would take about 12 hours plus. So just uh, keep in mind for that. Today I wore trail running shoes that are more of a hybrid with a hiking shoe. And I highly recommend that because I got a lot more traction with my shoes uh, when it came to rocks. So I felt more stable. So these shoes are real good on the rocks.